Well, some see a killer, others a best friend. More so than seemingly any other animal, everyone seems to have an opinion on pit bulls. Well, over the next few weeks, we expect to find out if Denver's views lean more toward love than fear. And this, as a city councilman pushes repealing the city's decades-old ban on this breed. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez spoke to pit bull defenders and to a woman who wants them outlawed at any cost. This was Dax and his first and only Halloween costume. Sharon Zaharsky's grandson, Dax, was viciously killed by a pit bull in Wisconsin. Her daughter had taken him to a friend's house, one they'd been to numerous times without any problems. The friend had two pit bulls. They were not abused, they were taken care of. The dogs attacked Dax while he was in the owner's arms. His spine snapped it too. I have ran into more than a few pit bulls in my time and they are perfectly fine. There's a bunch of bad owners out there who don't know how to take care of them, but you can do that with any dog and a pit bull is no different than any other in my opinion. Councilman Chris Herndon trying to find a happy medium. He says despite the ban, there are pit bulls in Denver. His proposal? Bring them out of the shadows. Where are they? We don't know. Are they getting the social socialization that they need? More than likely not, because the owners are afraid to take them out because they might get taken away from their families. He wants Denver pit bull owners to get a breed restricted license and prove their pit bulls have been microchipped and vaccinated. If there are no violations in three years, animal protection could remove the special licensing requirement. To me, it's not about the breed. It's about how that dog is raised. Is the dog socialized? I mean, how? what type of proper care does it have? Most pit bull owners and lovers say that it's the way they're raised and in this case it's not and I understand he's trying to to find some middle of the road but once somebody is dead they're dead. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.